What's up, Cougs? I'm Malcolm Farrell with At UH News, and today I have guitarist Magdale Zuniga, also known as Max, and singer Krista Poppy. They have been performing together for only one semester, but are off to a great start. Max attends UH and performs locally, while Krista is a part of UH Moore School of Music. Please enjoy the performance and stick around for the interview that follows. Flow My Tears, performed by Max and Krista. Max, thanks again for being here. You performed. It was great. Thanks, man. Great. I appreciate it. It was, it was a pleasure to be here, and uh, it was a We're more thankful than a to have joy. you, man. Yeah. We're, we're thankful to have you. Now, the whole duo, how did that start, you and Krista? Yeah, so uh, Krista and I actually met this semester, so uh, okay. our friendship is very new, and our relationship in the music is very new. We met through a mutual friend at the uh, Moore School of Music. Okay. And I was looking for someone to do a collaboration with around the same time that this, uh, my visit here happened, and here right. we are. Yeah. Here we are. So you just had an ear for it. Now, how many years have you been really understanding 17th century music or that type of music in general? Yeah, so John Dowland, a 17th century composer, I've been playing music, uh, classical guitar in general, for about five years now. Okay. And, you know, I first stumbled across classical guitar while I was scrolling through some videos on YouTube. I always right. kind of like guitar, and I saw what this was, and I said, man, I got to learn that. So I begged my dad to buy me a guitar, mm -hmm. and, and five years later, you know that. There that it here is. Here I am, yeah. There it is. So that really played a major part in the influence of playing the guitar, correct? Yeah, yeah. There, there's a, a few individuals that really influenced mm -hmm. me, but I, I, in the end, it was it was just my love for, for the instrument and the guitar. It, I had a classical guitar, and not many people know about it. Right. And compared to rock or metal or electric guitar, so it, I'm in a unique position. Right? But it's you know it's it's awesome. Great, great, great. Now you are a student, correct, at UH? Yeah, I'm actually uh, at the Bauer School of Business right now, and uh, I'm in a kind of interesting situation where even though I'm studying business, mm -hmm. my my goals are in the music industry. 
Good, good, good. So, so pretty much you're, you, are, you are learning the business side of it as well as the music side. So with the business side, what are your plans for the future as yourself, as you continue to play, but also getting that knowledge in? Yeah, so my inspiration for wanting to study at the Bauer College of Business came from meeting a lot of other musicians at music competitions right. who I'd come across and ask, hey, so what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And they would say, I don't know. So that was just a shocker to me to know that they didn't have career business oriented mm. mindsets. So with, with business, uh, I ultimately realized my plan is to start a conservatory of music in Houston, which is a school of music okay. and uh, publishing company, CD distribution, mm -hmm. and continue to perform. Definitely. De so um, at that school of music, are you going to be teaching or is it just? So at the, in the beginning, I'm definitely going to have to teach, right. uh, gather students. And, mm -hmm. and in the end, I definitely would love to be more behind the scenes growing the, the school and making it into something as big, almost as big as the University of Houston. Sounds great. I mean, it sounds like you really have a well-detailed plan right now while you're in school as well as once you graduate. Um, I just want to say thank you again. Always a pleasure to hear. Thank you, Malcolm. Great music, man. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Twitter name, at UH News. See you next time.